Welcome back to Operation Pixel. Uh, oh, okay, oh, you started. Recently fighting some dudes here to try and get some Pokemon breeders, and it's not working, and it makes me sad. Uh, all right, so. Oh, I just realized I don't have my second set of headphones in. I'll do that in a second. Um, I think the thing to do right now is probably the fighting club. So we really have the fighting hey, do you, club. Do you, do you got a deck for that one, or? Uh, I mean, my ghost will work really well there. Okay. I should swap out the electric guys, though, because they're not going to be that good. So we got fire, nah. grass, and fighting. Those really? Guys. Fire and grass? Those seem like the ones that you would go to first. I mean, I've basically been traveling by type advantage. Uh, oh, okay. Just because the game doesn't really, like, organize in any particular way. Uh, we could have done fire a while ago, but I was trying to get an overpowered Blastoise deck, and I'm just not getting the cards I need, so I've been putting that one off. <laughs> Uh, let's oh. see. So I'm gonna modify this. Because electric types are weak to fighting. In the card game. Surprise, you only have one deck. You have, like, slots for, like, four or five. So, part of the reason I only have one deck and I keep modifying it is because stuff like, I only have seven bills. Which means I don't have enough bills to fill up two decks. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. so you can't use the same card. Yeah. Uh, in, in, okay. It's kind of a weird, annoying thing that the game does that works with real cards, but uh, in a video game, it's just sort of a nuisance. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotcha. So since I expect they'll be running non-fighting types like ground types, I'm also going to include some grass types just to make fun of him. Uh, the most obvious choice is good old Scyther, of which I still only have three copies of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what are you gonna do, right? Uh, Pincer's always historically worked pretty well for me, but do we have any other good options? Anyone else here resist fighting, maybe? Anything that resists fighting is great. There. Uh, so Venomoth... Uh, but Venomoth that's not great. Sucks. That's not great. Uh, what else we got? We got Golbat. That's kind of expensive. Yeah. Yeah. He only has 60 HP. Um. That's still expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not too fond of a lot of the grass type cards. Scyther's really good. Pinter wasn't bad, but Pinter also takes a, like a lot of energies to get going. Uh, really ain't horrible. Yeah, but I still got to evolve up to it. Yeah, that's true. Although I will and say not, that they're not resistant, though. Yeah, they're not resistant. I mean, once once you get to Beedrill, it becomes resistant because uh, Beedrill's part flying, or at least in the Pokemon card game, it is. I'm pretty sure in the actual game, it's still Bug Poison. Um, but I will say that like I had to fight when I was doing uh, the science gym there. I was fighting some of those guys for packs. Uh, there was encounters I had with Weedle, and this is this was the most obnoxious thing, alright? I would lose the first turn coin flip, right? But I'd have out my yeah. Electabuzz. Uh, he goes first with Weedle, and poisons me turn one. So, by my first turn with Electabuzz, I've taken 20 damage, 10 from Poison Sting, 10 from Poison. Uh, I put an energy onto my uh, Electabuzz, and hit him for 10 damage and don't paralyze him. Well, that sucks, whatever. Uh, so then I take 10 more poison damage. Uh, then he hits me with poison sting again. I take 10 damage. He passes back to my turn, I take 10 damage. My Electabuzz, on turn 2, has 50 points of damage from a Weedle. <laughs> like, eh? That's, that's, how it, that's how it rolls sometimes. <laughs> I was like, how am I losing to a Weedle? Oh, uh, it was so annoying. Weedle, 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 uh, Weedle, Weedle. Let me see. Still expensive. What was his ability? Uh, move grass energies around. It's not too exciting. You know, the other thing I could consider is just putting more psychic types in. It's not necessarily the best idea. 
But you know, if I hit these guys with some some more psychic types, then I can just have all one energy type, and that's kind of handy. Oh, dude, what was it? There was spacing out. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. There was definitely a slowpoke I was fighting that, like, really slowed down the game. I think it was probably this one, just spacing out. Because if, uh, you flip a coin, it had to remove a damage count from slowpoke. I don't think it was this one, though. It must have been a different slowpoke. Which it's like, wait, I, I got know. hurt? What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a weird way to heal, right? Just too dumb to feel pain. <laughs> I don't know that's how God that you got hurt. Uh, let's see. Though I will say that there has been times in my life, there was one time I stepped on glass, and I didn't probably notice for like half an hour when I noticed like blood all over the floor. Uh, because I was like in my house. Uh, I guess I wasn't wearing shoes at the time, or socks even. Uh, and I was like, where'd all this blood come from? And then I just noticed I have a huge gash on the bottom of my foot. And then it started hurting. Yeah. That happens, yeah, at my job site a lot. I'm just like, like, somebody walk, dude, are you okay? I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, why? He's like, dude, you got a bunch of blood on your arm. I look at it, there's this huge cut, and I got blood everywhere. I'm like, oh, when did that happen? You know, I'm gonna use Mr. Mime, because I hate Mr. Mime. That makes sense. Yeah, so I think I've mentioned this before, but he has a Pokemon Power Invisible Wall. Uh, whenever I attack, does 30 or more damage to Mr. Mime, prevent that damage. So you have to hit him for 20 or less. Or he just takes nothing. Uh, which is super inconvenient because I really like punching people for 30 plus damage. How about Mewtwo? Yeah, let's slap Mewtwo in there. How about Mew? Uh, that's not very De-evolution cool. beam. Yeah, you choose an evolved Pokemon, uh, return the highest stage to its player's hand. So that's... Interesting, but I don't think Mew's very good because the Psy Wave there could do potentially zero damage. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, you know what? Screw it. It's more of a novelty anyway. Here's what I'm gonna do instead of using grass types, uh, I'm going to assume that I'll be lucky enough to get away with just a pure psychic deck, and I'll just slap in a few trainers to make up the, uh, the gap. I should also change to all psychics. Don't need this lightning energy anymore. Uh, something like 20 is fine. You know, let's make it 21. Uh, and then I need two trainer cards. Let's get... Oh, do I have Pokemon Trader? Pokemon Trader, Pokemon Trader. He might have been up at the top. I got some Pokemon traders, right? I didn't see one. There he is. Oh, there. So Pokemon Trader lets me just move one of my uh, Pokemon cards in my hand into my deck, and then I can just search for another one. Uh, so that'll help me get up to like <laughs> Gengar and stuff faster. Every time I every time I see that, all I can think of is that Pokemon the Abridged series. Uh huh. It's like your ball goes over here, my ball goes over there. It's all very complicated. Yeah, they had like an entire <laughs> machine for doing the Pokemon trade. And it's like, yeah. all we did was move the balls from one spot to another. Literally, what you could have done is just handed the, handed the Pokeball to, yeah. to him. He handed it to you. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's all, all very complicated. All very complicated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, so I'm just going to save. doesn't really matter, but I did it. Uh, do you have anything interesting to say? Fighting Club... What do you, what do you, yeah, I was gonna say, let me guess, use fighting types here. No dirty dueling allowed. Well. Dirty dueling? I bought a whole bunch of ghosts I mean, to the fight. I mean, oh, shoot. You, you gotta know, get rid of your something. dirt quads. I just remembered something important. Uh, what's it? Psychic Club. There was an old dude here. Do you remember this guy? Uh, uh oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. What? Is that the psychic metal? Did you defeat Murray? I feel so much better. Here, let me give you this Mewtwo card. Nice. Cool. Got a free Mewtwo. We got a promo Mewtwo. Uh Ooh, and you can just 
get energy cards from the discard pile. Uh, is this something I want to use right now? It's a little bit better than the Mewtwo you have at this point. Uh, they both have advantages. But yeah, it's not bad. I'll slap it in, sure. Let's give it a try. Who doesn't like classic Mewtwo? I mean, back when he was, like, the legendary to ever have. Oh, yeah. Now there's, like, 50 legendaries. Mewtwo is the cool kid's legendary. God, remember the rumor of, of Mew 3? Oh, yeah. Back in grade school? Oh, I remember. But it was just pictures of him from the movie with the armor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Pika Blue. Yeah. Yeah, man, there were so <laughs> many rumors. Playground rumors of Pokemon back in the day. I was just Meryl. Yep. Alright. The best player among the Grand Masters is Rod, since he's the leader of the Grand Masters. I was just saying okay. which Grand Master is the best. I think Steve is the best player. Very helpful. I see you play the Pokemon trading card game. I'm not into dueling. I prefer collecting the cards. By the way, would you happen to have Oma Star? You do, I was wondering if you might want to give it to me. How about it? Give away give your you Oma for Star. For what? Sure. For what? But you don't have Oma Star! Wow. <laughs> Dude, I've gotten so many packs. How do I not have Oma Star? What would you get for it? I don't know. I'm sure he would have given me something. Uh. If I were just oh, a it's few years younger, I'd be doing with you kids, too. Well, since this is anime, an old person doesn't necessarily mean that they can't fight. I mean, some of the strongest people in anime are like old people. Yep. <laughs> we have a uh, suspicious figure. Who's walking into the wall. Huh? Consistently. Who are you? Who, me? You don't know who I am? I am the Ima super Kuni? musical star, Ima Kuni, question mark? Okay. Uh oh I'll sing the Poke, the poke rap. rap. You dance. La-di-da-di-da. <laughs> hey, move those feet. What? Cards? What, you want to duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance. God, his hands are all over the place. Yeah. Would you like to deal Ima Kuni? Okay, one match duel with six prizes. Well, whatever that means. I was actually just listening to the Pokemon <laughs> um, soundtrack, To Be a Master. Yeah. Again? Yeah, it's got some fun ones. Have you seen this guy, though? Look at his face. Isn't that on, on one of the Japanese cards? Uh, Maybe. I think that might be like a character on the on the Japanese cards. It might be. I actually don't know what the story behind Imakuni is. Uh but like he's been referenced he in this game. This is actually the first time we've run into him. But but I mean I th I feel like I've seen that face. Uh it's possible. I honestly don't remember how like well known this guy is. Like where he came from. Hold on, I'm putting my other headphones on. I want to hear the music. Oh, he actually has his own Just... theme song, too. <laughs> his own chip tune. Ah, oh, great. Mr. Mime. Didn't want to start with Mr. Mime. Uh, I don't even have any other basics. Well. Watch, all your basics are in the prizes. Yeah. I mean, they can't all be there, but... Oh, cool, and I'm going second. Yay. Oh, and he's got Farfetch'd. That's actually incredibly bad for my deck. What was I thinking? I totally forgot that basically every normal Pokemon is, I think, pretty much immune to Psychic type. I don't know if I could win this match. Nah, good. Oh, wait, no, he's a weak to, uh, resistant to fighting. Cool. It's Farfetch'd. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, it's good that I found this out now before going into the fighting gym because if I'd run into a decent player in the fighting gym I could have been in a lot of trouble just in normal types oh that would have been embarrassing 
All right. What do you think of Surfetched? Uh, Surfetched is pretty cool. I actually really like the uh, the new uh, Farfetched because uh, it's clearly a reference to Berserk, which is one of my favorite anime. <laughs> like, he is straight up, like, if if you put a side-by-side -side comparison of the new Farfetched and Guts next to each other, you'd be like, oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, right now it just looks like he's holding a paintbrush. Yeah. The, the, the old uh, Farfetched is fine, but... Uh, God, I don't know what to do. My, uh, what, what does meditate even do? No. Uh, does ten damage plus ten more damage for each damage counter? Oh, weird. So it just compounds. All right. Well, you just slap him over and over and over and over again. And just... Yeah. Like, the first time it'll be 10, the second time it'll be 20, the next time it'll be, like, 30. Something like that. I'm not sure if I did my math right. Oh no, Leak Slap! Oh, actually, this doesn't matter, because... If Tails, does. it does no damage, and if Heads, it does no damage, because of my invisible wall. <laughs> 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 oh, that's actually funny. He had no chance of doing damage with that. Another Haunter. It's not what I need right now. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep that gold duck crappy. <laughs> and I guess we'll start meditating. Because I have drawn nothing. So this guy, I know you fight him like several times throughout this game. I actually thought we would have run into him by now. Um, oh, I think is after it, is this, it just, he just like goes random? To a different club. So yeah, weird. see? I feel like I've... Yeah, I thought I've seen that card. I don't even know, man. I don't get it. Your active Pokemon is now confused. Imakuni wants you to play uh, him as a basic Pokemon, but you can't. A mysterious creature not listed in the Pokedex. He asks kids around the world, Who is cuter, Pikachu or me? What a creeper. Yeah, also I mean, it's a that's trainer. even worse than... Yeah, it's a card that's only abilities to confuse your own Pokemon. It's okay. just a strictly bad card. <laughs> it's meant to be a joke, though, so it's fine. I know, but I'm like, that's even worse... This character's even worse than the Poke Fanatic in the games. Yeah. He's like Tinkle. No, not Tinkle. That's wrong. Tingle. 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 <laughs> Ting tingle. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Tingle. <laughs> He's like Tingle. Uh, no, I meant Tingle. Yeah, From, I got uh, Legend I got of Zelda. He's the Tingle of Pokemon. Mm-hmm. He's even got the One Piece, too. And I'm still drawing absolute garbage, but I guess whatever. Just keep... Meditating away. Alright. Gengar, cool, another evolution card. <laughs> oh no, I just need like a basic Pokemon. Or, you know, at least like a Pokemon need trader. A ghastly. If I get a Pokemon trader, I'm good too. I added two of them. Oh, he gambled. And succeeded on it. He's drawing a new hand. Uh oh. That's unpleasant for me. Potentially. Uh oh. I don't want to be paralyzed. Don't do it. Okay. This is still really bad though, because his gold duck could potentially kill me. Because it only does 10 damage. As long as he doesn't paralyze you. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep slowing down the game, I guess, with these energy removals, because that's all I can do. Oh, man. Uh, okay, well. He's probably got more energies in his hand, though, because he just drew eight cards. Ugh. This isn't even like a rad chip tune. Like this is this is a fine chip tune. 
this isn't something I want to listen to for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool, and I'm paralyzed. This, this, this sounds like a menu kind of chip tune. Mm-hmm. Or like, like what you'd find at the gambling counter in Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. I can see that. Oh, cool, another I Mr. Mime. Ugh. So I realized that these guys were really annoying for me to play against. I don't like playing them either. <laughs> like, it's not a bad card, it's... But like, who cares? Having a good time, are you? Yep. Love having all these Mr. Mimes and none of my cool ghost types. So good. So cool. Paralysis. I'll just keep eating his energy cards. See how he feels about that crap. Oh, you got another one. <laughs> Come on, Tails! And... ah. Oh. Pikachu's like, yay! Get out of Pikachu. Uh, finally a Pokemon Trader. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this Haunter. One of the Haunters. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go get me a Ghastly. Oh, he was way down there. Yep. I'm gonna play a Ghastly. I'm gonna put a Psychic Energy on the Ghastly. Uh, that's my turn, because I'm paralyzed. Yep. Alright, well, at least Mr. I got... Mr. Mime going down. I have something now. I am no longer without strategy. The problem is, I think I only have one more Psychic Energy in hand. And if I want Gengar, I need a third Psychic Energy. Well, you did just shuffle your deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just need I just need another psychic energy. If I get one more psychic energy, then I'm in way better shape here. Uh come on, psychic. Aw. Oh. It's not what I need right now. <laughs> I guess that checks out. Alright, well we at least have Haunter, and this is one of the Haunters that's really hard to damage. So I'll just I guess kill more time. That's... <sighs> so... I know you love doing that. I... <laughs> I should probably just build it. Oh, that was deck. really weird. What, the eyeball graphic? Yeah. Yeah. Like, especially like on the Golduck there. Mm -hmm. That looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> just something that's big cartoon eyes. Oh, that would look even funnier if it was on uh, Imakumi's profile. Oh, yeah. Just that would be funny looking. Like bug eyes. Yep. Alright, so. Hey, there's the psychic energy I needed. Congratulations. Uh. We'll just pump him up here. And who on his bench do I want to damage? Uh, uh Slowpoke number two? I think I want to damage this one. Uh, the thing is that most of the Slowpokes are going to be weak to my attacks anyways. So I'll just kill them in one hit anyways. Uh, so it doesn't really matter too much. Especially if he does, doesn't wake up. This is actually really good for me right now. Uh, okay, that's side. Yeah, he's not getting good out. flips. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. If he makes it, I'll still beat him. Yep. Cool. I'll take four tails in a row for Tail him. Asleep. Okay. I bad yeah. luck early on. It's his turn. Uh, I guess we'll get More other psychic. mime ready. Why not? I'm gonna get a presser oak before long and throw away this hand anyways. Um. Yeah, don't you have like three in your deck? Four. Oh. I want every opportunity to restock my hand. Uh, let's... Softening up the Psyduck won't really do much. You know, I'm gonna do it anyways, though. 
Oh, dang, I should have used my Pokemon power. God, I'm dumb. Never mind. I don't usually get Gengar out often enough that I remember. And also, like, it's so much easier to remember the abilities when you have the cards in front of you. Have, have the card, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did they ever have a Magic the Gathering card game for, like, Game Boy? I doubt it. It's possible. But that would be sort of unusual. Alright. So the reason I should have used my Pokemon power last turn... Let's see... Uh... Yeah, both these guys are weak to Psychic. So here's what I'm gonna do. Gengar has this cool ability, Curse, which lets me move damage counters around on my opponents. So I'm gonna take this damage counter from Slowpoke and put it onto Psyduck. <laughs> and then when I attack Psyduck, it dies. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> uh, let's see, who do I wanna give a damage counter to? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh. The slow poke you just took damage from. Yeah, let's just give it damage back. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that was the thing, Rays. I could have moved a damage counter last turn from the Golduck. Oh, crap. I forgot to... Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh, I forgot to silence my phone. Oh, okay. Hey, there's a Mewtwo. I'll take it. Okay, uh, how do I want to do this? Oh, he's trying to remove damage counters from his slowpoke. That's not what I want. Okay. Mewtwo. Let's give Mewtwo a psychic. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? Hmm. Hmm. Just trying to think of how to Bubba? play all these damage counters. Uh. Because so I can't kill Slowpoke this turn. Wait, I think I can actually, because uh, he's weak to Psychic. So never mind, I totally can't kill that. So I should move this damage counter somewhere else. I guess I should put it on Farfetch'd. Yeah, let's put it on Farfetch'd. It's the only other one with power. Uh, so we'll Pokemon power, Gengar. Oops. Yes. From Slowpoke to Farfetch'd. <clears throat> uh, I already did stuff. Alright, we're gonna eat Slowpoke. And put another <laughs> damage counter on Farfetch'd. <laughs> Alright, now know now who it matter? Who he switches to next turn, I can kill it. Because okay. the psychic Pokemon will die and his Farfetch'd only has 30 HP. So I'm in a good position right now. Gengar's cleaning up. Man, this is why I liked playing Gengar back in the day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, he's making me play a... Pokemon card from my discard? That's a weird thing to do. He's been playing weird trainer cards. Yeah. This guy's a fool. Oh, and he failed the coin flip, so did no damage again. Haha. -ha. I'll Yay. take it. Hey, there's Professor Oak. About time, man. Where you been? Um. I've been with your mother. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, how do I want to do this? I guess I'll just kill Farfetch'd, huh? Why not? Yep. I mean, we, we gotta end this. Yeah. This guy's just... Oops. Boring. Oh, that's actually not where I wanted to put that damage. It's fine, though. I guess I can just move it later. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a fun thing, right? And another Professor Oak. 
Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna get past my Gengar here. You have to get, like, real lucky. And actually have some decent trainer cards. Oh no, I took some damage. It's actually quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's see. Sure, I just moved some damage around. <laughs> That'd uh, be great if you could move your own damage. Yeah. Actually, I don't know, maybe I can. Uh, one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another. Yep, okay, never mind. Just my opponent's. Uh, you know, though, it doesn't really matter, because I was hanging on to this gust of wind. And, uh, I'm just gonna do a little do-do here. <laughs> I can't help but notice your drowsy is weak to psychic damage. And there's the last prize. <laughs> Dead. Alright. Not, not the greatest game I've had, but... Worked out. I really do like my old Gengar deck. Like, it's... <laughs> there was definitely better ones in the meta, but like I did pretty well for myself for like a fourth grader. Oh, you got a booster pack. Uh, yep. Hey, you're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack. So don't Hopefully tell me when I lost, full. okay? His... Hopefully it's none of his trainer cards. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is a pretty normal looking pack. Oh, and an evolution pack. Give me the breeder! Yes! <laughs> yes! There <you> go. <laughs> now I just need three more. <laughs> Pokemon Breeder is such a ridiculously good card, though. Oh, and he's a mystery pack. Uh, Clefairy. And a laboratory pack. Dude, he gave me one of each pack. That's just a lass. In both cards and dance, soul and rhythm are the secret. Hey, that you sounds pretty like cool. James. Maybe I'll be a poet. <laughs> I don't know, I was just trying to give him a weird voice and I didn't remember how I, I know, his just... voice before. <laughs> Alright. So, he helped reveal a crippling flaw in my deck uh, that I like to call Mr. Mime. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we're just getting rid of those. I don't actually care too much about the Mewtwo's. I'm more worried about them bringing up normal types that are just gonna, like, ignore my damage uh, than, like, literally anything else. So... How are we doing on time? Uh, we're probably about good for this episode, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do this between episodes, but basically I'm just gonna slap some fighting types in to take care of normal nice. types. So I can't get stalled out. Uh, and I'm probably gonna get that, uh, their Pokemon breeder in here, because why not? Yeah, that's what you wanted. It's what I wanted. Alright, we'll see you next time on Operation Pixel, everybody.